those barbs will go right through my fence. So I definitely need to be careful, especially down here on the ocean floor. The males tend to be more aggressive and a little bitey. Ah! Stingray, a bizarre and enigmatic ocean dweller that tends to be the topic of conversation everywhere I seem to go. And since we began making wildlife videos, the one creature that has come up in the comments on this channel more than any other is, of course, this barbed glider of the sea. And I think we all know why, and I'm not out to explain that story. Incidents in recent years have clearly given this creature a menacing reputation. However, I want to experience for myself the true nature of this animal. And when I thought of the best place in the entire world would be to do this, my mind sailed right toward the crystal clear waters of the Caribbean. So get ready. If you're brave enough, I'm bringing you with me on my quest to encounter the Sting King of the Deep. All right, here we are. We've finally made it to Stingray City, just about 35 minutes off the coast of Grand Cayman. And I, for one, am super excited to go diving with these rays today because these have become one of the most talked about marine creatures in the past decade due to the numerous reports of people being stung or speared by their barbs. So let's take a closer look at this barb. And this is a big one. This is a cast of a Stingray barb, an exact replica. And as you can tell, not only is it like a dagger, but it also has serrated edges. So when the barb punctures anything that it's stabbing, it actually does a lot of tissue damage on the way out. And we're talking the potential of multiple stings when a stingray attacks. It raises its tail in the air and then jabs upwards. So we have to be especially careful today when we're in the water with these marine creatures. And to add insult to injury, there's also a venom gland at the base of the barb. So not only are you gonna get stabbed, you're also going to get envenomated. Okay, now before we get in the water, we do wanna have a quick safety briefing with the crew and find out just how we're gonna get these stingrays up close today in the safest way possible. Let's go check it out. So, by the looks of this, Chan, these stingray love squid. No, yeah, they absolutely love squid. They'll eat it right up. Why are these stingrays okay being not humans? Uh, so, years ago, uh, the fishermen in Grand Cayman uh, would come here after their catch and clean their fish. Okay. And as they clean their fish, they're gonna just throw all the guts over here. And then rays started coming in. And from what I've heard, a lot of the locals, because they didn't really get in the water back then, they thought that they were actually sharks. They came in and uh, told some of the dive shops on the island, and some divers came out here and discovered there were giant Southern Atlantic stingrays. So that's important for everyone to realize at home, this is a very special situation that we're going to be experiencing today. This is a marine interactive zone. You would never want to engage with a wild stingray, or any wild animal for that matter, if you weren't absolutely certain that it was safe to do. Show me how we're going to pass the food. I'm gonna place it in your palm. And then you wanna close your hand really fast. Close your hand really fast. Because if, if I do this, what's gonna happen? Uh, those fish are gonna come and take that really quick. Boom, and yep. potentially take a piece of me with them. Yep, just a little nip. <laughs> okay, that's not what we want to happen. Now, the rest of this stuff, this is what we're putting in our BCs, right? That's right. And by our BCs, probably mean my BC. We mean your BC, yes. Great. I think that about does it, Chan. I think I'm ready to get down there and interact with these rays. So we're gonna get suited up and I'll meet you at the dive platform. Sounds great. All right, let's do it. There's the attractor right there, down the hatch. We're ready to go. Time is finally here. We're about to get in the water with the stingrays of Stingray City. Let's go. Warm Caribbean water is always a welcome to luxury when diving in this region. But as I regained my bearings, I quickly spotted a pesky barracuda looking for a free meal. I would need to keep my eye on this squid thief. The last thing I want is to have my hand chomped by its snarled fangs for a tiny piece of bait. Luckily, most of the fish here that have teeth mainly hunt by sight, so as long as there is nothing for them to target, my hands should be just fine. To my surprise, the rays were already descending upon us as we attempted to set our gear and ready ourselves for the encounters. No dinner bells required here at Stingray City, that is for sure.
there were two large females and one smaller male. As we were warned by the crew, the males tend to be more aggressive and a little bitey, so I'm going to have to keep that in mind when feeding the larger rays. The little male could come and strike out of nowhere. Whoa, these rays do not mess around. They clearly can smell the squid without any trouble. And man, are they quick on the take. All right, let me focus here and attempt this a few more times. As you can see, Southern Atlantic Stingray have flattened bodies composed of pectoral fins which are joined at their head and trunk to form a diamond-shaped disc, followed by their infamous tail. Their color varies from dark brown, gray or black on the upper side, to white on the lower side. This combination acts as a camouflage to help the stingray blend in with its environment as they like to burrow in the sand to rest while hiding from predators their primary predator being the hammerhead shark. Remember that dive? Female southern stingray tend to grow much larger than males. The average female grows to about six feet in length, while the average male is around two and a half feet, which is obviously much smaller as you can see here. Okay, let's try to feed the male. Maybe a little bit of squid will keep him occupied for a while. He's getting a little too riled up for my liking. Ah, he almost bit me. Man, their mouth plates do not feel good. I can feel them scrape my knuckles right there. Uh, all right, I won't be making that mistake twice. Stingray hunt by using electroreception along with a strong sense of smell and touch. Their diet will typically consist of small fish, worms, and crustaceans. Since a lot of the stingray's prey is often buried in the sand, they will either flap their fins over an area or utilize a really cool technique where they will force water streams from their mouths to reveal the prey, and then slurp them up into their mouths to be mashed by their powerful plates, cracking and smashing any hard shells in the process. Now that's pretty cool if you ask me, I just don't want it to happen to one of my fingers. Another cool fact is these stingray have two eyes that sit atop their head, and right behind them, you'll notice two openings that are called spiracles. These allow the stingray to breathe, by taking in oxygenated water from above and expelling it through their gills on their underside. This is a great way to not breathe in sand or other debris from the ocean floor while they're hunting. Okay, now to the business end. Southern Atlantic stingray have a whip-like tail, which as we mentioned earlier, wields a deadly defense known as a barb. Stingrays are typically docile creatures and only use their barbs as a method of self-defense. So the only way for me to get stung right now is to startle a ray from above or unintentionally step on one. And yes, those barbs will go right through my fence. So I definitely need to be careful, especially down here on the ocean floor. All right, that's all the squid. Time to head back to the boat. I can't believe it, that was so cool. That was amazing. So many stingrays down there, and they were big. Let me uh, get my tank off my back and I'll tell you all about it. I did not think the stingrays were gonna hang out with us for that long. I thought they would come in, take the bait out of our hand, and then zip right off. But sure enough, those rays hung out the entire dive. And we got a lot of great shots. I know they came up and made a lot of contacts. After what we witnessed today, it goes without saying, stingrays are not an animal that you need to fear. If you see one at your local beach, if you see one at your local dive site, just give it its safe distance and you're gonna be just fine. Well, I hope everybody at home enjoyed this episode as much as we enjoyed making it. If you haven't yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss a second of the action ahead. I'm Mark Vins, be brave, stay wild. We'll see you on the next dive.
you would never want to get this close to Stingrays under any other circumstance. What we have here at Stingray City is a very unique situation and is regulated by professionals. So please don't attempt to do this at your local beach.